welcome back friends from um, continuing from my videos on uh, this examination I think this is the fifth video or the sixth video this is uh, foundation tire of London examination IGCSC question number 10 so this is a uh, the x-axis and y-axis we've got three lines uh, this is your line A, this is your line B, and this is line C. Write down the equation of line A. Now, when you look at it, line A, if you take any point on line A, it corresponds to 3 on the y-axis. So, this is 3, this is 0, 3, this is 1, 3, this is 2, 3, and so on. So, each point on the line corresponds to three on the y axis. So this line is called y is equal to three. Okay, the reason being each point corresponds to three on the y axis. So this line is called y is equal to three. So the line A is called y is equal to three. Now if you look at line B, each point on line B corresponds to five on the x axis. Okay, so this is your phi on the x-axis. So this line is called, same logic, x is equal to phi. Because each point, so this point would be 5, 7. This point would be 5, 6, and so on. So all the points corresponds to phi on the x-axis. So we can say the line B is x is equal to phi, just like that. Okay. Now the last line is line is equal to C. Okay. So yeah, if you look at the, any point on this line, okay, so this is this is 1, so this you can say this is 1, 1. Okay, this point is 2, 2. This point is 3, 3 and so on. So in other words, your x coordinate and your y coordinates are the same. So this point is say 0, 0 and so on. So you can say your x coordinate and y coordinates are equal. So, you can say the equation of line C is y is equal to x, just like that. Okay, see you in the next week.